Good afternoon. Thank you so much for choosing UBC TV this lovely Thursday, of course, the 16th day of November 2017. My name is Sandra Kaunda, we bringing you stories that are topping up onto our news desk this uh, lovely day. Now, quickly taking you through updates as regarding Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's military has placed a President Robert Mugabe and uh, House arrest in the capital, Harare, says a South African President Jacob Zuma. This uh, comes after the determinant of uh, several government officials and what many were expecting to be the beginning of power transition in the country. Tensions are running high in Zimbabwe following the military takeover and placement of President Robert Mugabe and a house arrest at his home in the capital Harare by the army. President Mugabe, however, told South African President Jacob Zuma in a phone call that he was fine. I am hoping that the defense force will not move and do more damage, that they will be able to respect the constitution of Zimbabwe as well as the people of Zimbabwe, so that this situation does not go beyond <clears throat> uh, the situation where it is now, particularly because we are now in contact with them, as well as the president. We are hoping that this situation is going to be controlled so that peace and stability comes back to Zimbabwe. Welcome back. Thanks for staying now. Before we take you through business, an invitation coming through for you, and that is uh, tomorrow, Friday. Uh, Inspire Women Uganda, in partnership with UBC TV, is uh, organizing a women's conference under the theme, Improving Our Financial Situation for Better Economic Empowerment. The conference is to be held at Nobview Hotel in Intenda from uh, 2 p.m to 5 p.m. this Friday, the 17th of uh, November 2017. The guest of honor will be Mama Mbire, a long-time business entrepreneur. All people, especially women, interested in improving their business skills and learning the art of entrepreneurship are invited. So don't miss a plan your Friday very well. That is uh, tomorrow. Now, on two business, Makere University students, students leaders, have committed themselves to fight against abuse of tobacco among their fellow students and other peers. This uh, followed a sensitization meeting with anti-tobacco activists among the effects and regulation of tobacco and its products in Uganda in accordance with the 2015 Tobacco Control Act. Details in the following report. In 2015, Uganda enacted the Tobacco Control Act to regulate the production, supply and the consumption of tobacco and its products to the population. The law seeks to protect the health of persons and the environment from effects of tobacco. But people still abuse provisions of the law openly due to ignorance and weak enforcement of the act. Now there is nothing whatsoever that can stop any law enforcers to go ahead and, impre uh, and, co and uh, impound and arrest all the persons who are contravening all sections of the Tobacco Control Act. Welcome back. Now, quickly taking you to international scene, the UN Secretary General for Somalia, Michael Katin, has held a meeting with Somali women leaders on the Security Council Resolution 1325 of Women, Peace and Security. The summit's emphasis is to find modalities in the translating the Council's resolutions into real results in Somalia. The United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 represents a major breakthrough and affirms the role of women in peacekeeping, prevention and resolution of conflict, peace negotiations and prevention and protection of women and girls from conflict. The special representative of the United Nations Secretary General for Somalia, Michael Keating, stressed the importance of their equal participation and full involvement in all efforts aimed at achieving peace and security.
Still broadcasting live from Nile Avenue now to sports this afternoon. Having been disqualified from U20 2016, Africa Cup of Nations qualifier in Rwanda due to fielding ineligible players. Federation of Uganda Football is not risking this time around, but rather summon players in the Junior League who will represent Uganda as an invitation team in the Kosafa tournament. Players have been summoned for the under-20 Kosafa tournament slated for 6th to 16th December this year in Zimbabwe. The squad was selected based on the continuity performance of players from the first edition of the FUFA Junior League. That's it for now. Thank you so much for staying with us from the top of the hour. Now, of course, an invitation coming through. I'll take it again uh, tomorrow, Friday. An invitation coming through, coming through uh, to you to inspire, to attend the Inspire Women Conference uh, taking place tomorrow. That is Inspire Women. You get a partnership with UBC TV organizing a women's conference under the theme improving uh, our financial situation for better economic empowerment. The conference is to be held at a Nob View Hotel that is in Intenda from 2 p.m. Uh, to Friday, that is uh, tomorrow. The guest of honor will be Mama Mbire, a long a time business entrepreneur. All people, especially the women, are interested in improving their business skills. Uh, you really earn a lot there for yourselves and uh, learning more of the art as regarding entrepreneurship you are all invited. So you can notify your friend, you can notify any business person out there that you know uh, that is a tomorrow Friday, a conference, a business conference happening for you at Nob View Hotel. More news in our time news hours. Keep it your BC, better programming coming your way. Sandra Kahundagaba wishing you a beautiful Thursday afternoon and salute to the team behind the scene for making today's news journal a success.